بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم to all of you I hope you all are fine my dear student I your mathematics teacher welcome you all here in our mathematics class my dear students our today's topic is based on geometry and in this today we are going to learn that how we can measure the lines the objectives of our today's lesson are that by the end of this lesson the students will be able to identify lines line segments and rays my dear students do you know how many types of lines are there yes we have mainly two types of lines one is straight line and in the straight line again we have two types of lines one is called horizontal line you can see the horizontal line is always in this position the next is vertical lines and vertical lines will be always in this position the second type of line is the curved line and the curved line is always in this form now my dear students let's start learning how we can measure the lines as today you know that we are learning to measure the lines with the help of divider thread and centimeter scale are you ready my dear students to learn about the measurement of lines so first of all you all know that what is a line a line is a straight geometrical mark that is the shortest distance between any two points on a plane usually we use scale to measure a line so here also we are using a ruler or scale to measure the line oh this line is bigger than the ruler so don't worry my dear students we can measure the line by parts we can mark a point on 15 cm and place our ruler again from 15 cm onwards so 15 cm plus 6 cm is equals to 21 cm it means this line is 21 cm long to measure a line with the help of divider we open the divider up to 1 cm or any reasonable length you know why we are taking the small number to measure it just to minimize the margin of error in the measurement we shall place the arm um, one of the divider at one corner like you are watching and then you can move the divider like this on the line and you know that we moved the divider 10 times and each time it covered 1 cm that's why 10 multiplied by 1 cm is equals to 10 cm wow is it easy yes now do you want to learn more Do you want to learn that how we can measure a curved line? So let's start learning about the curved line. You can place the marks on the edges of the curved line and you can put thread like this on the curved line. Can you see on your screen? You can put your hand at the corner of the curved line. and then you can move it accordingly and at the end you can cut the thread now we can measure this thread with the help of ruler and here you can see the measurement of this curved line is 15 cm because the thread is 15 cm long do you want to learn that how we can measure the curved line with the help of divider we can measure arms of divider up to 1 cm 
and place the divider on the marked edges of the curved line and move it accordingly from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F and F to G. And now how many times we move the divider? Yes, here we move the divider. How many times? We moved it six times. So, we can see that the divider's length is one centimeter. So, six times we moved it. One centimeter multiplied by six is equal to six centimeter. It means that the curved line that we measured with the help of divider is 6 cm long. I hope my dear students you have enjoyed learning about the measurement of lines and now you can do practice. Let's summarize our lesson. We use ruler, metric scale and measuring tape to measure the length. We can use the measuring tape also. Ruler is used to measure length of small objects. Length can be measured in centimeters and meters. And one meter is equals to 100 centimeters. Let's end our lesson with this beautiful saying, the most certain way to succeed is to just try one more time. Thank you all of you my dear students. Take care. Allah